Okay, so someone asked, uh, they called me up on the phone. I actually have a website, you can call me and stuff. They wanted to know they don't have southern yellow pine in their area. I often make my handline reels here out of southern yellow pine. <laughs> what if you live in the north and not the south? What do you do? Use any wood that's suitable for the marine environment even. You know, white oak can work. Down here, cypress is very popular as well. You use whatever you would use to turn a bowl. Look up boat building woods and use those woods in turning handline reels like this. Finally got around to making one for myself as opposed to the old prototype, which look at the guys who are building custom strip plank kayaks and canoes. Use the structural, generally stick more to the structural pieces of wood like your oaks and your mahoganies, things like that. You know, the harder woods. The soft woods are fine. You can use it. Soft wood will make it light. Now, I use cypress, which is technically a hard wood, but it's it's very light. It's light as, is as light as cedar or something. And if you can turn a bowl or a plate or a vase with it, you can turn one of these reels with it. Question two. Uh, I use boat builder's epoxy and, and, and sailing varnish. Someone asked, do I have to use those finishes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you want it to last like a hundred years, yeah. If you don't care, then no. If it's just gonna be a beauty piece sitting on a shelf, all you really need to do is use your standard uh, boiled linseed oil and that kind of a finish to it and it'll look pretty. But if you're gonna be out there, especially if you're in salt water, coat it with a couple of coats of epoxy and a couple of coats of varnish, it'll just last a lifetime. Third, uh, I because this is made from dimensional lumber I have to glue the halves together and I use tight bond type 3 wood glue I usually don't use epoxy anymore because it's just epoxy is not cheap and you gotta mix it and you gotta put flour in it and you gotta try to thicken it and it just takes more time tight bond system 3 the waterproof version it works you can get it anywhere you put the half together it makes a very strong half and then when you put epoxy on that <laughs> if you can get some true bowl turning blanks from a supplier like I have with my cypress you can only you don't you don't have to do that you can just simply use one uh, because one of my cypress reels is nearly as wide as this reel out of the just from the straight from the blank so I don't have to glue them together but with dimensional lumber from the hardware store yeah I gotta I gotta the epoxy gives it that strength so you can just you know it, 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 nothing wrong with it you know see that's the whole reason I do that because you're gonna be in that boat and you're gonna be dropping it like that that's gonna happen right no damage right that's why I use Boat Builder's Epoxy. It is designed for an austere environment where it's just going to get beat to crap. Always put a varnish. Doesn't matter if it's urethane or spar, but it needs to be a spar varnish. The reason you spar varnish it is one, gives you a leathery finish. A you know, big part of this reel. And test, test, test. So it rolls. It rolls. It rolls and spins. Nice leathery finish. It's easy on your hands, which in handline fishing, the most important thing is protecting your hands. Second, it protects against UV rays. The sun is, is, is brutal on epoxy. It will turn it yellow and it'll make it chip and peel. A couple of coats of varnish, it'll last, last, last. Uh, maintenance, uh, once a year I would take it, sand it lightly, put an extra coat of varnish on it or two. It lasts a lifetime. And that is frequently asked questions on my um, Cuban yo-yos.